After leaving Jerusalem, Nephi and his brothers were commanded to return and obtain the plates of brass from the house of Laban. After appealing to Laban for the plates twice, Laban threatened to have Lehi's sons killed, claiming they were robbers, a capital offense in ancient Israel. After fleeing the city, Laman and Lemuel were ready to abandon the command to get the Holy Scriptures, but Nephi could not ignore the will of the Lord. Alone, Nephi returned in the night, not knowing what he would do, but confident that the Lord would provide a way. There, in a street, Laban lay drunk and unconscious. Nephi saw Laban's sword and was constrained by the spirit to slay Laban in order to obtain the record. Horrified, Nephi recoiled at the prompting only to receive a more intense prompting in which the spirit told him that the Lord had delivered Laban unto him and that it was better that one man should perish than that a nation should dwindle and perish in unbelief. This story has unnerved some, leading them to ask how could Nephi justifiably commit such a violent act? Even though such a killing would not be justifiable in most modern legal systems, the text presents several factors that substantially reduce Nephi's culpability under the law of Moses in Nephi's day. The critical legal factors were, first, did the killer lie in wait or come presumptuously with murderous intent? Nephi had not done this. And second, the role of divine will. Did God deliver him into his hand? This was what the Spirit testified to Nephi using these precise words from Exodus chapter 21. But still, why would God deliver Laban into the hands of Nephi to be killed? Another aspect of ancient Israelite law may have been at play here, for Laban had falsely accused Nephi and his brothers of a capital offense, and he had even gone on to steal their property and ordered his men to kill them, proving himself guilty of much more serious offenses than what he had falsely accused Nephi and his brothers of. Indeed, the law in Jerusalem at that time said that a false witness or accuser should suffer the punishment he meant to inflict on the innocent party. In such a case, Nephi's slaying of Laban can be classified under the law of Moses as a case of unpremeditated manslaughter, which does not exonerate Nephi entirely, but allows him legally to seek asylum in a city of refuge or to leave the land of Israel. And now you know why.